Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Quake 2. I'm Altrius, this is Quake 2 The Reckoning. This is, we have made it to the moon base. We are apparently in the cargo bay. If you remember, we made a freighter not blow itself up on a second attempt. Imagine not knowing that and just, that's the end of the Earth's campaign against the stroke. Is now everyone's dead. Uh, I thought maybe there was something up here. Oh, maybe there is. Find the secret. Can I get out of it? I can. Oh, I just vaguely thought there might be something good here when I was watching the video back. You'd be pleased to know that the batteries for my lawnmower are charging. So it was just a, a brief interlude on a, a summer night stream. But, oh, seven shots for that is bad news. We are running around looking to see if we can... I can't even remember what we were doing. Let's have a look at access to research hangar. Um, research hangar? This is, how do you think research works? Is that this? Maybe. So we've got low grab, but not low, low grab. Uh, not like the satellite that we were on in the last game. Still one of my favourite levels, but mostly because it is uh, low grab. <laughs> that's a, the that's a thing. And I'm just going to run around and keep talking until I figure out what I'm doing. I haven't... Surely there's a, a direction we have yet to go. <clears throat> Surely there's a direction. We went up there and found some stuff. This is where we literally just were. Yeah. Hello. Right, let's go up that way again. We know how to do this. So this way is the thing that we just saw with the ceiling. Yeah. I really like the sort of details of the things you don't have to look at. Good level design, because back in the day, you didn't have lots and lots of polygons to play with, so you have to do your best with what you got. Just putting nice, neat things like that here and there. Very uh, quite important. Anyway, what am I saying? I'm saying, let's figure out where we're going. Oh, we didn't go through this, look. Uh, command center. <clears throat> That's right, we had this weird... This is cargo bay, which is where we just were, but I don't know if that is one of the... You know. I'm also remembering there was a bloke up there. Can we get there? I'm going to try, actually. Hang on. Hmm. Ooh. It's going to have done something, right? What's it going to have done? It's not popping out again. It's a good start. What changed? <laughs> what changed? Anything? Nothing here. I can see. I don't know, actually. You can definitely get up there, look, because there's armor up there. Anything in in, 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 in the pillar? Has opened? No. Has it popped out again? No, so at some point I'm sure we'll find it. Maybe there's a second one to shoot? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha I know how these games work. I'm a pro. I found every secret so far. Well, that was a really lucky guess, actually. Oh, come on. There is fall damage if you fall too far. <clears throat> Which is, uh, you know, tautologically true statement, but. Uh, obviously, what I mean is, it's not completely eradicated body armor. Given given that is the case, I'm gonna turn this off because we've only got fifty. Um, we've only got fifty <laughs> cells, so let, let's not use that. For now. We've still got seven for this. I kind of feel like maybe this is a job for Batman. No, don't pick that up. Oh, I was just trying to get into a sensible location. I ended up being absolutely... My, my future self is in tears. I'm going to take this one. Let's <laughs> just see if I don't. Okay, look. It could have been, okay. Still feel like we have to use this sort of thing. Ooh. Hmm. I'm going to save this here. <laughs> when do we save it? Now. 216 health. 
a while before it started going down. Just noticed. Ooh, caves. Everyone likes caves. <laughs> of course, the the gibs, chips, the chippy bits, go flying proper good and proper when you've got low gravity. Might be worth at this point actually using this. This is slippy as all heck. This is not just a cave. This is a low gravity ice cave. They they hate us. What are you moving around for? This would be a great deathmatch game. Oh my gosh! Look. Yeah, yeah. There's no splash damage on this thing. Rockets. I like a couple of rockets now and then. This is not frozen. Is it going to hurt? Oh, it is frozen. <laughs> I like that, actually. I like that a lot. Am I supposed to get up here, or is this another secret? Couldn't actually tell. I thought that was water. <laughs> so weird. Can't see what's what anymore. Something to that. I'm, I'm also very much lost once again. <laughs> oh, look, even more armor. This game is throwing armor at me. I don't really necessarily want to use this. The trouble is, all the weapons that are kind of sensible are not sensible in context. Whoa. Let's um, turn this back on. Not only we pull on it, I'm being attacked by things that it protects me from. Wow. <laughs> wow. Why indeed. See, it's not having splash damage when I'm killing enemies. That's bad. It's not having splash damage when they're shooting at me. Bring it up. I feel like I've missed stuff. Do you ever feel that way? I always feel that way. In life. Context. All these places where a single BFG shot just win. <laughs> it's not giving them to me. I'm getting a lot of um Getting a lot of mileage out of cells at this point. Oh, just giving it to me. One shot. How do you feel about this? Yeah, not too bad. I like the hyper blast but travel time is too long. Enough of that. You are really weak against this sort of thing, huh? Yeah, kind of. More armor. Can't lose, can you? <laughs> Still low gravity, yeah. It's weird how easy it is to hit these flying machines with a slow moving rocket like this. I will min max my um that sells a little bit. Largely because it it really means that I can make the most of doing both, right? I can both use my cell-based weapon and also 
I could change weapon with that. Uh, and also, you know, have a shield. As long as I don't pick them up when I don't really need to. This is the same as that. But this time, the bad is not in the car, though, it's protecting the button. fairly apparent that maybe those buttons turn off those lasers. I don't want to move on to whatever that causes to happen. Yikes. Excuse me. Oh yeah, you do that. And then... Soften it. Okay. Doing ourselves some enough, maybe. Another, you can jump on this. So, uh, uh, have to recalibrate what it means to be able to jump on something. Don't know if that was a. I'm dead, in ways. I think it was. Stairs. Yay, that's where we want to be. Again, don't really want to explore the places until we've cleared them out, you yeah? uh, know? Don't want to trigger the things until we've cleared out the places. Yeah, that's more like it. More buttons. How many buttons can there be? And then there's an, this place. Oh, that's got a force field on it. At least I am somewhat gated to my options right now. I can push buttons. Let's start pushing buttons. I'm still not convinced. I don't think I've finished those ice caves. Ah. Did we... Where, where were those ice caves? Here. I'll come back to these. Uh, might cut it out. That's it. Oh no, we were there. Yeah, there was armor there. Yeah, I'll come back to this. Still haven't found very much in the way of ammunition. Where's the final button? Oh, it's up there. Mm. Lame. Sequence complete. Take the core reactor off now. This sounds like a reason to use. Oh, quite that much. Mm -hmm. Unless it's just a tank. The fact that these things can just take three rockets to the face. A bit OP. I'm noticing there may be an open area of death going on here. What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's you. Alright then. Uh, let's make sure we know what weapon we're using, which I think will be the bad things. A little bit of quad damage and just show a while. Huh? You can probably use both the quad and the uh, up to do your know, 8x damage. Well, 8x DPS. 4x damage and 2x actual shot speed. You're fine. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Surprise that is not enough, my sunshine. My dude, my friend, my buddy. What the heck? It's our uh, boss friend from previously. Except now he's got a railgun. And a BFG. Oh, dear me. Ow. Okay, so all of a sudden, we're just facing the final enemy of Quake 2. Just in a normal situation. <laughs> Hello, my name is. What was it called? Ow, dude. 
you get a BF2, so I want one. I think I deserve one. Yikes! Oh, that's painful, isn't it? Presumably it hurts that much in uh, multiplayer as well. Now I'm understanding why there's loads of HP around the place. I'm also understanding maybe when I should have picked up the 200 health. Ow, got to not stand still. <laughs> Well, if I have to not stand still, then... Oh yeah, you just fall over and twitch a bunch, I remember. Nice try. Still, that was, that was a challenge. I felt challenged. Didn't use any rockets, maybe I should have. This where we came, what? I recognise that, but... Okie dokie, what are we doing? Take the core reactor offline again. Not sure if I want to actually press on that much. I've opened a secret area. This is where we came. I yeah, of course. That is where the HP was. It comes out, but it doesn't reset. That's okay. That's where the big HP. Right, 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 right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, since we're here again, I'm going to have a quick look. Um, it may be necessary to cut this out, or we may just finish <laughs> instantly. I have never used the trap. Anyway, you didn't, you didn't need to see me uh, run through the ice caves and fight with the jumping puzzle, so we have skipped this. Now we return to the cargo bay, right. Which is down here, which is why I the gate. It's one of those... An exit moon base, but it's fun. Um, yeah. Now we're in one of those. Uh, it was a. Uh, just get to the end quickly. Okay, a newly available ship before the moon base explodes. Do you know that sounds hard? Why did I go up there? I don't want to go up there. Is there a timer or is it just as long as you need? This game is not averse to just forcing you through stuff. There's one more kill in this place. Besides that, nothing's spawned or, or recreate. <laughs> okay, it's forcing my hand, I see. Mate, this is such a cool sequence. Well, I... It's just awful. I love this. It's brilliant. The fact that they made the stuff that can fall apart fall apartable. Uh, what is this wreck of a ship? Alright, look, first of all, I can see through it. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird thing. Secondly, that is a messy texture. I I feel that maybe they could have done something there. Also, I did, I, I found all the secrets, and all, I 100%ed that mission. That was amazing. That's better. Yeah, get out of here. It's Joker again. <laughs> what is happening? We stabled it. We stabilized it. We stable. Safe. Is that it? Is that the end? We the final boss was the final boss. It's over. Now That was really cool. Sorry for the high pitched squealing. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. That was I, I would say that entire mission set was a step up in quality from the original Quake 2 mission pack. A lot of that I'm perfect prepared to believe. They had some ideas, they learned some lessons, they threw in a whole bunch of stuff they didn't get to do in Quake 2. Um, and of course they threw in a whole new so there's new weapons and new enemies that use those weapons. So it wasn't just... It's really easy to just add things like new weapons and new enemies and then the outcome is still poor, right? It's obvious. But the the new techniques that they use, having to hide in a box, you know, the collapsing of the base at the end. We've seen things fall apart in Quake 2, but not to that sort of quality and not that, oh my god, that nearly missed me sort of thing. Well, that barely missed me. 
Um, and, and just the intricacy of level design as I was going on about through the entire thing. That was amazing. I really enjoyed that. And I'm very much looking forward to the next one, which will be... That should have loaded instantly. Come on now. Uh, we're going to make a new game. It's going to be... Call of the Machine. So I think The Reckoning was the first one. We did this in the right order. Uh, maybe we should double check. <laughs> I think... I'm going to uh, check that just whilst we're here. Wait to mission packs. Um, so I'm thinking. Yeah, the reckoning is the first expansion pack according to Wikipedia, which knows everything. And then the second one would be. Um, call of the machine. No, call of the machines. You? Oh, I don't know. Mission pack reckoning. Mission pack ground zero. Second expansion pack released in September eleventh, nineteen ninety eight. They release these thick and fast, don't you think? They must have had people working on one. Uh, before they'd finished the second one, right? Then polishing the second one and then started the third one. Um, enhanced version of Call of the Machine. Call of the Machine is the new one. And then we've got Quake 264, which I'm hoping is just like the whole game all over again in a completely different way. So we'll start that tomorrow. Look forward to that on the channel. Remember, leave a like if you like the video and tell me that you wanted to see more of this series. That's how YouTube works. And subscribe if you want to see when the next one's going to happen. I'm keep making the music stop apologies for that um and you can join my discord you can follow me on mastodon down in the links below and until next time thanks for watching this series i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you join me for whatever it was called ground zero see you then bye